Hello everyone, welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by, for joining me for our daily message. Yeah, this is for everyone. Okay, not just for Aries, not just for Libra, not just for Aquarius. This is for everyone. So, Happy New Year. This is for January, the very first day of 2020. So angels, give us some positive blessings. That's what we want. We want to start this year with some positive energy. Yes, we do. Everyone that is here, if you are guided here, <laughs> if you are guided here, then this is for you and me. <laughs> okay, angels, looking for positive energy. We are looking for positive energy for January. For January, one more please. January 1st, 2020. Woo! <laughs> Doesn't that sound good? 2020. It sounds fresh. It sounds brand new. It sounds, whoa! Angels and guides, what are we looking for? What do we all need to hear today? Yes, angels, positive energy, positive energy. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, you know we have a lot of cards to get through. Just be patient with me, please. Just be patient. Please, please, please. I'm begging you to be patient. <laughs> angels and guides, angels and guides, we're looking for some positive energy for... Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, no, 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 there we go. There we go. And we are using the new Angel of Light cards. I love these cards. I love these cards. Okay, let's get into this. All right, are we ready? So, as our feet hit the ground, yes, 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 we're looking at the Five of Cups, but don't you fear. No, 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 don't you fear. We are finally looking. We're leaving all that stuff that didn't work, that was uncertain, that was topsy-turvy. We're leaving all that behind and we're looking to the future. Yes, we are. We are looking to what is secure in our lives, the things that we know work. Okay, with a magician card, we're ready to manifest. Absolutely, Queen of Swords, we're ready to manifest a softer side to our personalities. We're ready, yes, 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 to walk away I feel like we've been trying to walk away, but we're walking away from anything does not that does not serve our highest good. The third eye chakra, we know. Yeah, we know. We are in tune with what it's like when you get that sixth sense, when you get that knowing, that feeling, and you dismiss it. Don't dismiss it. <laughs> Listen to your your higher intuition, right? And I feel like this has to do with partnerships, friendships, uh, romantic. Um, it could be anyone that you have a strong bond with. And I feel like the sister of 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 the, the angel of sisterhood. It's like friendships. It's like family. It's it's um. I feel like this is amazing. There are people around us that we definitely, definitely that are. I want to say, um, God sent. <laughs> I want to say friends and family or friends and partners that are definitely God sent. And this friend or this partner or this sister or brother or whomever this is. Maybe it's someone that is like a sister or a brother, but they are definitely God sent. And I definitely know that you know who it is. Okay. So this year, today, we are leaving, leaving things that were uncertain behind. Yes. We are manifesting a softer side to our personality. We're once again, letting go of what does not serve us. Things maybe that we wanted to let go of, but we weren't sure about letting go of, and we're ready to let go of it. Now, you know what? You don't have to listen to me, no, 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 or a friend or anyone else. Listen to your higher self. Yes, what is your higher self saying in all of your partnerships? The angel of sisterhood is saying, seek your friends. Seek your bonds that are like family. I feel like family, okay? So I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.